What's up guys? Coming back today, second video. Got a new topic. New topic, how to end police brutality. Uh, new to this, so bear with me as I figure out things like video editing, uh, recording equipment, sound quality microphones, all that. So I'm going to get to that later as I figure out how to make YouTube videos uh, of good quality. But for the meantime, I'm just going to jump right into it with my laptop's uh, computer and microphone. And uh, we're going to talk about what I think is the root to um, ending police brutality. All right. um, one, of the, one of the ways that I hear most commonly is uh, to make them personally liable when they cause damages to remove immunity. And I am all for that. I think that is a great idea. But aside from that, I think that the root problem is that it is a uh, monopolized service. It is a government force-funded monopolized service and uh, it could be provided better if it were a uh, free market of competing service providers. All right. Currently, what we have is like if the DMV was providing the police services. All right, they've got no incentive to providing any better quality because um, there's nobody else that you can go to. Um, even if you did want to go to someone else, you had the money and you were like, hey, private security, what's up? You're still going to have to pay for the publicly funded po um, police, whether you like it or not. So, in recent events, let's say that you're the family member of George Floyd and you find out that the police in your area killed your family member. You can't, you can't even opt out. You cannot go to them and say, yo, service is unacceptable, done. You're not getting paid anymore because if you don't pay your property taxes that are supposed to go to the police, then they will end up taking your property from you by force in some sort of a tax sale foreclosure. So um, you really have no other recourse than to just continue paying for those. So with that being the case, they, they can do all of the terrible things that they're getting away with. Um, they can break into the wrong houses, shoot the family pet, plant drugs on innocent people. Um, man, just look up police misconduct and you will be inundated with more than you can even stomach. Um, so um, I think uh, a better way to do this uh, would be end right away, just right away. No more funding for public policing. Um, they have to say um, the taxation to fund the police was immoral in the first place. Because if you don't, if you don't consent, if somebody, if they shoot your chihuahua and you don't want to pay them anymore, you should have that right to opt out. And if you don't, if somebody's going to force you to pay for something that you don't want to pay for, then right from the start, you're dealing with the immorality of being forced to pay for a service that you're not happy with, that you don't want, that in, in many cases have caused you damages or somebody that you love damages directly. So until you remove the idea of um, forcibly funded, government monopolized, taxation to fund police services and until you open that up to competing service providers um, you, I mean this, this idea is uh, just basically applying free markets to any service or commodity if you take um, a good example uh, is a uh, craft beer prior to uh, the restrictions on um, what could be done with beer and who could make it um, the main the main beer providers were just like you know your your Bud Lights and your you know domestic crappy beer. When you deregulate the market, you get competition that's going to come in. And they're going to be like, hey, we're trying all kinds of new things. We're throwing marshmallows and graham crackers and fruits and just crazy stuff. All all this all this innovation can happen as a result of the competition and the freedom to provide services and, and or goods in different ways than what people are used to. So you take that free market idea, you apply it to policing services, you could have um, um, 
police that are associated with your neighborhoods, so like uh, incorporated into your HOA fees. If you don't want that, you can opt out. You don't have to pay for them. If you if you wanted to um, choose not to have any police servicing, and then you you determine that hey, somebody's breaking into my house, and I do want police services. You could have a pay up, like a pay one time as you go type deal, or like a like a hospital bill. Like you don't pay them until you use their services, so you don't even have to pay a regularly a monthly fee. Even um, and there's there's other ways. Then I mean, like these are just ways off the top of my head and things that I've looked into. But there are ways that you can fund things um, voluntarily and and morally. And when you do that. And you and you provide people the opportunity to opt out when they kick in the wrong door, when they rape their detainees, when they uh, plant their drugs on your grandmother or whoever, and they and they beat somebody up, they turn their uh, body cameras off so that they can get away with the things that they're that they're used to getting away with. When that happens in a in a free market, defunded man, you you opt out. You tell other people, you say, hey. Uh, you know, Piney Woods over here and their policing services shot my chihuahua and I'm not paying them anymore and you let other people know that that happened and you show the video to the internet, they're done. You know, they're going to find somebody else is going to come in and be able to provide that service. So to me, until you, until you get rid of the idea of forcibly funded government monopolized services, there's no service, there's no good that is so important that it has to be that the only way that it can be done is a government funded or government uh, a monopolized force funded um, service. Everything can be provided better through free markets, including pre police services. And until that happens, you're just going to continue to deal with the issues that you deal with from not having anywhere else to go and being forced to pay for the shit service that everyone's getting anyways. So that's my take on it. Um, me personally, when people say things like, you know, it's not, it's not all cops. Um, you know, there's good ones out there. I'm sure that they're well intentioned. I know some of these people. I, I you know, I, I have friends that have become cops, uh, and I just, you know, good intentions aside, um, if you're if you're taking a paycheck uh, that is forcibly taken from other people, whether they wanted to pay for it or not, at the threat of evicting them from their properties for not paying their property taxes, that's immoral. So even though it may be like an indirect immorality because you're not the, the cop that's showing up to evict people um, or the judge signing off on the tax sale foreclosure, uh, it's still you're taking the, the money from somebody that is... Um, grieving over the damages that they're not even going to be reimbursed for. So, you know, fix that. Uh, fix the idea of uh, taxation to fund things. If you want to fund things, fund it voluntarily. Otherwise, it's immoral. So you, can, you just can't even be uh, a, a good per person by every day living your life funding everything that you do with the money that you've received from people who didn't want to give it to you so anyways what do you guys think is there a better way you guys know a better way to end police brutality if you if you got an idea you know let me know drop it in a comment hit me a like hit me something um that's it later <laughs>